Hello and a warm welcome to you. This uh, photograph, this still frame from a video, is yet another observation made from Traprain Law in East Lothian in Scotland. If you've been watching my other videos, it won't surprise you to learn that this observation is impossible to make on a flat earth, and therefore the earth cannot be flat. And before I explain exactly why that's the case, I'll show you the short video clip uh, from which this still frame was taken, uh, so that you can see that I was indeed at the very top of Traprain Law when I took this video. So this is the video clip in question. Uh, we start at the top of Traprain Law with the rock shelter on the right and the trigger point on the left of the camera. You can see the camera height is uh, above the height of the trigger point, so probably at 222 meters rather than 221. Uh, to begin with, I zoom in uh, over the little hill at uh, Galton Lodge uh, towards the bridges, the Queensferry Crossing, the rail bridge quite clearly visible, uh, the road suspension bridge a little bit harder to see in between the two. And shortly the uh, camera will uh, start to pan round to the right where the Hopeton Monument and the mountains that we'll be looking at today uh, can be seen. So I didn't want to edit this video clip um, for fear of being accused of uh, some skullduggery. So I'll play the all of the clip. It's only a couple of minutes long. Here we have Meikle Bin and the uh, the wind turbine in the foreground that are featured in my videos before. And now we start shortly to pan around uh, towards the north to the right here. I hope the monument there comes into view and you can see the mountains in the distance. That's pretty much the still shot that I captured. Uh, camera wheels around a little bit and shortly I'll zoom out and you can see uh, the Hopeton monument and uh, more of the hills in the far distance. So that's the video from which the still shots for today's uh, today's video are, are taken. Now what I've done is to take the still frame and to put it into GIMP2 software and adjust the level slightly to make the mountains in the distance appear a little bit more clearly to you. This picture, this observation, is impossible on a flat Earth because everything below the red dotted line across the screen now must be lower than 210 metres above sea level if the Earth is flat. Everything further away than the Hopeton Monument here, that is below the line must be less than 210 meters above sea level. Now you don't have to take my word for that. I can enlist the help of a flat earther. Phuket Word published a video in which he demonstrates very clearly how perspective works on a flat surface. I'd like to share a clip of that with you just now. So here we are on uh, Phuket Words channel and his video entitled Impossible Flat Earth Claim Debunked, which of course he didn't debunk at all, he just tried to fiddle things by not showing the correct camera location. So the first part of his video, he goes over my one of my earlier videos, but at this point, 
he makes a little demonstration about perspective, which I would like to use to demonstrate what should happen in the photograph that I've just showed you. So let's play his video and I'll pause it when we get to the crucial point. Here. I did this a couple of years ago, pointing out the, the difference that we see in the height uh, of the lighters, which are all the same height. And what I did here was uh, at the end of that row, I put a lighter, I raised it up so it's physically higher than the other lighters. And we, as we, we move along the row, we'll see. Obviously, they, these on horizontally, they all appear to be the same height except the one at the end, which is higher. And when So Phuket Word's video shows very nicely how perspective works on a flat earth or on a flat surface, it should, I should say. I've taken this still frame from his video. As you can see, the, uh, there are five cigarette lighters in all, four that are placed on the surface of the table and then one that is made taller by being placed on top of a book which is placed on the surface of the table. The lighter in the foreground gives us our, our benchmark, our, our baseline if you like. Anything further away than that lighter that is the same height or shorter than that lighter must appear on or below this line. The book is shorter than the lighter and appears below the line. Anything the same height as the lighter or taller than that lighter, which is further away from the camera, must appear above the line. For example, the next lighter along. It's the same height as the lighter in the foreground and it appears above this lighter. This is all with the camera placed at a, an elevation slightly higher than the lighter in the foreground. This is crucial. The camera level is important here. If the camera is slightly above the lighter in the foreground, then everything I say is true. Move the camera lower and the whole game changes. The next lighter is the same height and appears a little bit higher up, as does the fourth lighter. And finally, we have the fifth lighter in the sequence which is taller still and appears even higher up the image. This is absolutely uh, factual on a flat surface. If we have an object at one height, the camera is slightly above that height, then everything the same height or taller than that on a flat surface must appear above it in our image. So how does this relate to the observation I have made from East Lothian? Well, my camera was at the top of Traprain Law, as you have seen, at 221, possibly 222 metres. The benchmark of the trig point on Traprain Law was around a metre or so below the height of the camera. On the left of the screen here we have the Hopeton Monument on Byers Hill in East Lothian. And the top of the Hopeton Monument is 210 metres above sea level. So anything further away from the camera, which is taller than 210 metres above sea level, or even is 210 metres above sea level, must appear above the red line. Phuket Word has demonstrated this to you, and he's absolutely right. If the Earth is flat, everything that is 
210 meters or taller, must appear above the line in this picture. But we can see Ben Lomond at 974 meters above sea level. We can see Ben Narnane at 927 meters above sea level. And we can see Ben Eam at 1,011 meters above sea level. And all of these mountains appear completely below the line. That's impossible if the Earth is flat. But of course, very possible if the Earth is spherical or curved in some way. Let's look at this in some scale diagrams. So this diagram is not perfectly to scale and I drew it to try to illustrate the point. If we are looking from Traprain Law past the Hopeton Monument on Byers Hill, we should be looking towards the base of Ben Eam, when in fact our line of sight goes above the top of Ben Eam. I was very happy uh, drawing the diagrams like this. Um, people complain that the vertical scale and horizontal scales are so different that it uh, doesn't match reality. Well, let's look at it in a proper scale diagram. Here I've used the scale where the radius of the Earth is uh, reduced to uh, 1592.75 centimetres. That would mean four kilometres on the real Earth, equaling one centimetre on our diagram. Unfortunately, Ben Eam appears off the screen to the right. Uh, but we can still have a look by coming out of the full screen view on PowerPoint. I'll use the zoom function to zoom in. So we have Traprain Law marked by a little triangle here, the Hopeton Monument marked by a little rectangle, and Ben Eam marked by a taller triangle on the side here. Uh, ben Eam is a quarter of a centimetre. Uh, tall, that's correct, yes. One centimetre is four kilometres. Ben Eam is essentially one kilometre above sea level. So a quarter of a centimetre is used here. Let's zoom in as much as we possibly can. So the bottom here is the spherical Earth version. Let's have a look at the flat Earth version first. So if we have our camera on top of Traprain Law and we are looking um, above the top of the Hopeton Monument, we scroll across to where Ben Eam is located just off the edge of the slide and you can see that our line of sight goes to the foot of Ben Eam. We should see all 1000 meters of Ben Eam or 1011 meters of Ben Eam above the Hopeton Monument if the earth is flat and yet we see all of it below the Hopeton Monument, below the top of the Hopeton Monument. What happens on a spherical Earth drawn to scale? Well, here we have our Traprain Law Triangle and our Hopeton Monument uh, Rectangle. And the drawn to scale and the line of sight drawn from one to the other. We scroll across to Ben Eam on a spherical Earth. We find that the top of Ben Eam 
lies below the top of the Hopeton Monument in our line of sight. Exactly as we observe in reality. Exactly as we observe in reality. The same applies to uh, Ben Narnain and Ben Lomond. Ben Lomond being closer to the camera uh, appears to almost touch the line and this is exactly what would be expected on a spherical Earth with a radius of 6,371 kilometres. I also have here a wider shot, a more zoomed out shot taken from the same video clip and you can see that I have correctly uh, identified the mountains. If we go to a an enhanced version here and I have overlaid a peak finder uh, image onto this uh, this picture and you can see uh, Ben Lomond here, Ben Narnain and Ben Eam as well as another of a number of other tall mountains all of which appear below the height of the Hopeton Monument. There's Ben Vane, Ben Venu, Ben Vorlich and others. This is impossible to see on a flat earth on a flat earth these mountains have to appear well above the line and they don't so the earth cannot be flat thank you for watching